let's quickly talk about graphs and charts. I'm going to tell you one, give you one very interesting quick tip about graphs. Quite a few of us from the uh, from the survey I did originally, a lot of you already know Excel pretty well. So let me just show you something interesting about graphs. When you want to create a graph, you need to kind of understand Excel in a deeper sense if you want to do some interesting things with graphs. So I'm just going to create some fictitious data here. Uh, let me say dates. Let me say sales. Let me put today's date in here. And I'm going to copy that. Let's just make it a date. Okay, so this nice date. I drag this. Let's make it months. And let's create some sales figures. Let's just create some big random sales figures. All right. So this is my data. Now when you want to create a chart, you simply click inside your data and you use a shortcut. The shortcut is Alt F1. So I click in my data and just do Alt F1 and my chart pops out. Right? How do you do that? Simple. The key thing is have your data for your chart first. And normally when you have a big database, you need to summarize that database. If you use private table or use Excel, one of the best functions to use is some ifs. And then you have your data that is chartable. Then you simply do Alt F1. And you create your chart. Now, once you create your chart, you can now do all sorts of adjustments and stuff on the chart. But I'll show you something else. If I have additional data, for example, I have sales and I have budget. Let me just say I have budget data. So I'm going to create some fictitious data for budget. So I have fictitious data for budget. All right. So I have my chart with fictitious data for budget. I want to now budget, I want to put this budget data in here. The best way to do it is just highlight your data, including the heading budget, copy it, click your chart, and control V, paste it. Then your budget just goes into your chart. So I just highlighted the data for budget. I did control C, I clicked my chart and control V, and my budget went in. Okay, so that's how you put in, bring in budget into your data. But then if you look at this chart, it just doesn't really look that nice, right? One thing with charts is try and declutter your chart as much as possible. So these bars is too much clutter, right? In fact, these grid lines are too much clutter. Click on the grid line and delete. It doesn't, it's better without the grid lines. And for example, this is too much clutter, this thousands. We can show our charts in, in maybe uh, say everything is in thousands or everything is in millions. So I can, for example, double click this uh, and change the number format, okay? I can change the number format to million format. So if we check custom, fortunately, we don't have million format. We have to generate it ourselves. And the code for generating millions is inside this code you see at the bottom right here. This code down here, bottom right. I'll just put two commas after it. And then my numbers now change to millions. OK. And then this bar, I don't want the bar. I want to change the chart type. I'm going to change my chart type for this bar to be a line. So under design, I go to change chart type. Once you go to change chart type, this is Excel 2016. This is the same, te same technique in Excel 2013. Unfortunately, 2010 is different, so I uh, won't have time to look at 2010. But this is sales, this is budget. I want my budget to be a tick. So I'm going to change my budget from a clustered column. Yeah, I'm going to change it to a line. So it's a line. That's the first step. Once I change it to a line, I now click on this line, and I'm going to edit this line. How do I edit the line? Uh, formatting cells, format data series. Uh, I'll go to this first button here, and I'm saying this line. I want to remove the line, no line. It disappears. And I'm going to use the markers. See these markers? I'm going to make them ticks. I go to marker, and then I go to under marker. I have marker options. You say built in, you change your built in to maybe a tick here. You increase the size 
of that tick to maybe let's say 15 or 16 or whatever size you want and you can see it's already done and you can change the color of that tick and stuff but really we've accomplished what we want and this is it so this is your chart and then you basically label you can put in legends and stuff so that uh, it looks good let's say uh, legend I bring in the legend take this legend to the top here yeah. Uh, drag it right and there we have our chart thanks for watching another training video from deep Brown consulting see you in the next video